<laughs> hello, 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 welcome. Facebook Friday, Relici Friday. How is everybody doing? Did you guys have a good week? I hope so. Um, let's see, what's been going on around here? You know, I always love to chat just for a couple minutes while I let people hop on. So let's see, what has been going on? Well, okay, basketball, it's like March madness, right? It's kind of my favorite time of year. Um, so yeah, it's probably a good thing that my son likes to play basketball and not like do something else that I don't love as much. So it's kind of fun to watch. Um, but yeah, so let's see, Tuesday night, Alma, the Alma Panthers varsity basketball team had made it to the quarterfinals. So they were like super close to like going actually to Michigan State University to play at Breslin, but they lost on Tuesday night. They were playing um, Ludington, an awesome team. They were definitely outplayed. Um, I guess a, a number of the boys had had the flu, so that was kind of a bummer um, that, you know, they were not up to like snuff and you could tell they just didn't play that well. So it was kind of a bummer. I'm like, I'm talking, nobody's on. I hope I'm on the right group. I think I am. I know I was like a minute or two late um, running around trying to get ready for the rest of the weekend. So I'm going to just kind of keep chatting. Okay, I see an eyeball. I see somebody's on. Yay! It's always one of those like, what the heck is going on when I don't see um, people? But yeah, like I said, I think I'm on the right place. So yeah, Cade is done um, with high school basketball, but of course now he's um, <clears throat> working on um, playing on a travel basketball team. So then that means like weekends away of tournament play. And that's always kind of interesting though. So I look forward to that too. And then you can see I got my Michigan sweatshirt on also here. Uh, Michigan plays Iowa tonight in the Big Ten tournament, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you don't have anything else going on, um, watch that basketball game and cheer on my Michigan Wolverines. We, I'm hoping for good things this March for them. Um, and what else? Oh, Lily had dance competition last weekend. That was like the full competition with all of the dances, the solo and all of the group dances. And then this weekend, um, she has just one more um, dance competition, but it's only the solo dance. That's the only thing that she's taking to competition. This is so weird. I'm like so used to having people being on here and I'm not even seeing comments or hellos or anything. Um, sorry, I'm like pushing. Oh, no there. Okay. It's away. So if you're on hot like say hello um, I'm sure I'm on the right place, but I'm not this is so unusual Maybe everybody's busy. I don't know. I'm just gonna keep talking and hopefully somebody hops on soon I know I went to I'm trying to make sure I went to the Facebook group I did do that and I hit the live video. So, all right, I'm just gonna keep going. This is like throwing me off though because usually people are on by now. So I'm sorry, I'm like a little bit, what the heck? Um, <clears throat> what else? Yeah, so lots of, well, dance is kind of finishing up, which is sad because they work like all, like forever and then all of a sudden it's like it's here and it's gone. So, but today, uh, as soon as Facebook Live is done, I'm heading down to Lansing for our weekend crafting retreat. It's hard to believe that that is already here, middle of March. It's, well, what, it's St. Patrick's Day on Sunday. This is kind of a fun weekend, right? You gotta wear your green so you don't get pinched, right? <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to the weekend. I kind of have everything packed up. So like I said, as soon as I'm done here, I'm going to throw everything in the car and get on my way um, to help get everything set up. So, and speaking of retreats, um, I apologize. I don't know if maybe I have something turned off here because I'm not seeing comments or anything. Um, weird, 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 weird. All right, I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> I don't know because if I turn it off, I'm not sure if that's a good thing either. Um, yeah, so, okay, I might just, like, be talking to myself. <laughs> so weird, because I love to see everybody's comments and respond to things, so, okay. But, yeah, I'm just going to, oh, there, Sharon, yes! Okay, good, Rosa and Sharon. You guys, I've been, like, blabbering for the past few minutes, and I'm like, there's nobody on, and it's totally throwing me. So I was thinking I was in the wrong place, but good. Okay, you found me, and I'm on the Facebook group, right, the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio Facebook group. You guys are giving a thumbs up, so I'm thinking I'm in the right place. So, good, okay, all right, well, yeah, so we're talking about retreat stuff. Weekend retreat this weekend. Oh, good. Abby and I finally found you. Um, 
Hold on, I gotta swipe, there's a text. I gotta get that out of the way there. Yay, hi Abby! You, maybe you have, do you have a half day from school? I'm trying to see, my, my kids are just getting out of school right about now too, so. Well, good morning, everyone that's on, and thank you for joining me. So, okay, um, what, oh, I know what I wanted to tell you guys about the one day crafting retreat like so speaking of we obviously you can't do the weekend retreat this has already come and gonna be gone by the weekend hi nikki yay i'm glad you can join us did you have trouble finding me too sharon is saying i finally found you so hopefully i'm on the right place anyway um okay i think i am so the one day retreat that's what we have coming up so that is on all right i gotta make sure saturday april 20th and the big thing to know is if you want to come to the retreat and you want to get the extra free goodie in your goodie bag you need to rsvp and prepay by next friday actually i think it's saturday friday saturday the 22nd 23rd hi sally yay okay good people are hopping on um you need to rsvp and prepay it's saturday by saturday march 23rd because that's my sister's birthday so i know i have that in my brain so if you do that then you're going to get an extra goodie in your goodie bag um, and if you if you can't get payment to me and actually so either mail me a check okay good you found me immediately awesome okay it was just me hi Wendy yay okay good maybe everyone's just like off a few minutes I think it's like daylight savings time too everybody's kind of having a little bit of a hard time adjusting uh, but I don't know you know takes a few days and we're good I love that it's light later now too so okay so back to one day retreat um, <clears throat> okay, so yes, RSVPs, if you want the free goodie in your goodie bag, are due by next Friday, next Saturday, March 23rd, but you need to have payment to me. That's what I was trying to say. So either mail me a check, make sure I get it by then, um, or if you email me and say I want to sign up and you can charge my card, then that counts too. So whatever's easier for you guys. Um, but yeah, I'm like trying to fill up the retreat. I have a huge space, so we've got lots and lots of room for lots of people. It's an awesome day. I've been emailing about that, so if you're not on the email list, um, go to my blog at gatheringinspiration.com and click the sign up for my email. And that'll get you info on the one day retreat because um, it's an awesome day. It's so much fun. Philomena, yay! Hi, 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 hello. Good. I'm glad you guys, okay, I'm feeling better. That was freaking me out that people weren't on. And I'm like, I never usually talk to like nobody. And it was kind of a weird feeling. So I'm glad you guys are here. Thank you, everybody. Um, Okay, so what else? Oh, the other thing. So if you can't get RSVP and payment to be by March 23rd, the final, final RSVP for the one day crafting retreat is Friday, April 5th. So it gives you a couple more weeks um, if you're trying to figure out your schedule. So, but in conjunction with the one day retreat, I'm also doing a class and I haven't, it's email are coming out this weekend about it. So you probably haven't even heard about it yet, uh, but it's called the Happiness Blooms Card Class. And I'm going to show you guys in my catalog. And my catalog is like kind of falling apart. So bear with me a little bit here if things are kind of funny. But it's on page 26 of the Occasions catalog, The Happiness Blooms. We are going to be featuring the Happiness Blooms card pack and the Happiness Blooms cards well big cards and kind of little or smaller note cards i guess i would say and envelopes in that class so you're going to get a full pack of the happiness blooms the memories and more cards and envelopes and the happiness blooms memories and more card pack and then we're going to make 10 cards with all of that product that you're going to get in class i'm going to throw in some other embellishments and things the cards are going to be simple because they are made right from the card kit and the really cool thing is we're going to make 10 cards and actually the card kit comes with 20 cards so and the card pack comes with duplicates of all of the cards so you could actually end up making 20 cards i'm going to give you the template for 10 and then you could duplicate all of those and make another 10 cards so for just $27 you get the full happiness blooms memories and more card pack and the happiness blooms memories and more cards and envelopes you're gonna make those 10 cards so I'm gonna do that at the one-day retreat I'm gonna have separate tables set up for the class so if you're local and you want to come to class great if you're not local or if you can't make it that day I'm offering a to-go version and you just have to pay for the shipping it's just $8 shipping hi Sean good morning 
Um, so yeah, you can do it either way. You can come to class, $27, or if you need it shipped to you, then it's another $8, so it's $35. And I will send you pictures of everything, you know, all of the cards that we make. They're gonna be so simple, and you'll be able to see exactly how to put those together. So that's an awesome class. I love the bold, bright colors that are on those um, cards and envelopes, the happiness blooms. I love that suite. Um, and then, so the other thing that I wanted to make sure to let everybody know is this is something new. I've never done this before and I've kind of seen it other places and I'm like, okay, I'm going to try it too. So I'm calling it a retreat in a box spring 2019. So here's the idea. If you're not able to come to the one day retreat on Saturday, April 20th, I'll send you everything that everybody that comes to the retreat, I'll send you the retreat in a box, ship it right to you. So here's the idea. You are going to get basically everything that everybody gets, right? You're gonna get the goodie bag valued at over $30. You're gonna get the pillow gifts that I give to everybody, the make and takes, and I'm gonna throw in a fun little surprise in there too. Um, and then basically, I'll show, I'll send you pictures of all of that again too. Um, and you'll be able to put your projects together at your leisure whenever you feel like it. I will give you a list of the stamp sets and the ink that we use on the make and takes. Um, I'll tell you they are, the goodie bag features the happiness blooms, the um, designer series paper, and I'm trying to remember what else is even in there. I just know it's, it's a part of that suite. So it's gonna be awesome, fun, bright, bold. Let me show you that sweet too. You guys have seen this, I'm sure. The Happiness Blooms, oops. The Happiness Blooms Sweet. So the, your goodie bag is gonna feature some of the product in the Happiness Blooms Sweet. Hi, Tammy. Oh yes, Sally, nice maize and blue colors. I know, go blue tonight at 9.30. Make sure you're watching. Marianne's not on here yet. I know she's from Iowa, but we're playing Iowa. And Hopefully Iowa's going down. Sorry, Marianne. <laughs> uh, hi, Karen. How are you? Okay, so sorry I got sidetracked. Okay, so yeah, basically everything that people get from the regular retreat for coming, I'm going to ship it to you, right? So here's the deal. And actually, you can order that Happiness Blooms, the card class that I mentioned also, and get that at no additional shipping charge. So if you just do the card class, then you have to pay for shipping because I have to put it in the priority mail envelope. But if you do the retreat in a box, you can order the um, Happiness Blooms card class and I'll throw that in your box. You're already paying for shipping on the box. So you don't need to pay for shipping again, right? Okay, so here's the deal. <clears throat> Prices. So the retreat in a box, if you want it shipped to you, it's $57. I am also offering retreat in a box, it'll end up being in a bag probably, um, but if you wanna pick it up, then it's $42, okay? If you wanna add in, so do the retreat in a box and the Happiness Blooms card class, it's $84 shipped to you, right? And if you can come pick it up, then it's $69. And both of those email about the Happiness Blooms card class and the retreat in a box are gonna be going out this weekend. So again, if you're not already on my email list, go to gatheringinspiration.com, sign up for my email, and then you'll get info on both of those. The one thing that I did realize was, I think I forgot to include a link for the to-go version only of the Happiness Blooms card class. Um, and I probably won't get a chance to fix the email that's gonna go out, I think, tomorrow because I have to get down to that retreat. But I will get it fixed on future email. And if you want it and ship to you, just email me and I'll send you the link for PayPal. Um, it's very easy for me to do, so, okay. But those are some awesome things that we have coming up. And I am just, that is one of those suites that I kind of held on to and didn't play with because, you know, you can't play with everything, right? But it's one that I've been dying to get to and I'm having so much fun designing the make and takes and the cards for this class. You're going to love these projects. I promise. Um, okay, let's see what else do I want to tell you guys about. I think we are ready to, let's do our drawings. You guys want to? Um, 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 yeah, right? I feel like I missed something. If you guys could see my notes. <clears throat> I always think, oh, there's probably a better way to do this, but then I wanna make sure I tell you guys everything. Okay, yeah, I think we're ready. Let's do our drawing. This is Sandra, hello. <laughs> How are you this morning? A little, I know, I, I think everybody was a little bit late. Tammy, it kind of freaked me out. Good thing nobody was on here because I was like talking and I'm like not seeing any eyeballs and I'm like, 
am I in the right place? So I'm glad everybody's, it's daylight savings time. Everybody's like a little bit like messed up with the timing of life, you know, but we're, by this weekend, we'll be fine, right? Okay, so this is what we're gonna give away today. This is the already sold out celebration. This is the Grapefruit Grove or organdy ribbon from that ribbon combo pack. So you can't get it any longer except right here on Ferlici Friday. So you guys know the drill or if you're new to Facebook Live, maybe you don't know the drill. So you get one entry in here for every comment on Facebook Live from now until next Thursday because I go through those comments Thursday night, put everybody's names in here, right? It's 8.30 and I was up, what are you saying? I was up OV. I don't know what up OV means, Sandra. You'll have to explain that to me. You were up OV. All right, I don't know. I, you know, my brain doesn't really think on Facebook Live. Maybe I could figure out what, what that means. Or maybe it's a typo. Anyway, okay. So one entry for commenting anytime. Three entries if you share. <laughs> you were up over, oh, you've been up for over two hours? Good for you. I'm not a morning person. I'd rather stay up. I was up till uh, like 1.30 last, 1.30, 1.45. I was up really late last night. <laughs> so we probably about go to bed at the same, like the wake up and going to bed with our time change. <laughs> yeah, you're on the iPad. I know, typos, they're so easy to do. Um, okay, so here we go. One entry for commenting, three entries if you share the video. Make sure you make a little comment about the video when you share it though, because that's how you get your name in the drawing. You have to make a little comment about the video, right? Uh, yeah, the storms last night, uh, maybe I slept through those. Either that or we didn't have them up here, Tammy. I'm not sure. Um, you also get three entries in the drawing if you sign up for my email list, if you haven't done that already. And then my random day that I picked was Monday. So if you commented or shared any post on Monday, um, then your name gets in here three times. Or if you made a project and shared it with us on the Facebook group on Monday, your name goes in here three more times. So again, lots and lots of entries, lots and lots of ways to get entered. Oh my goodness, yeah, everybody's up late. Let's see, in, yeah, I don't know. We're kind of mid-Michigan, but maybe, maybe a little, maybe we, I don't know. I don't think we got them. We had storms yesterday during the day. It was weird. It was like bright and sunny and then it was stormy and, Ooh, tornadoes. Oh, yikes, that's scary, huh? And hi, Susie. Hello, welcome. Okay, so I'm shaking these all around. And let's see, we have, <laughs> pick me, pick me, Sally says. Well, let's see. Oh, not not Sally, but I picked Miss Philomena. So, um, Philomena, I think it's Sosa, right? Sosa? Philomena Sosa is the winner of the Grapefruit Grove Organdy Ribbon. So Philomena, I will get your ribbon sent out to you. Let me scoot this stuff out of the way. And then, okay, so this week, hi Sean, yay, yay, yay. We are gonna give away more ribbon. I love ribbons. Oh, oh my goodness. Karen is saying tornadoes went over her daughter's house in Lansing. Yeah, scary, wow, I don't know. It's that time of year, I guess, isn't it? Um, okay, so this is the ribbon that we are giving away. This is the Flirty Flamingo. Yeah, you know what, I think I, so, yeah. I'm thinking of Sammy Sosa. He was a baseball player, right? Did he play for the Cubs? I can't remember. <laughs> but congratulations, Philomena. I'm sorry that I wrote your, I think I wrote your name wrong on there. You know, sometimes it gets late at night. I know you're Philomena, I've got that down. But okay, so this is the Flirty Flamingo. It's kind of that narrow ribbon that's part of the All My Love ribbon combo pack. So a while ago, I gave away the um, lovely lipstick. So now we're gonna give away the Flirty Flamingo and you're welcome, Philomena, thank you. So I think this is awesome ribbon here. I'll pull this one out because it's open. This is my little pack. I don't wanna open whoever wins. So it's a really nice, soft, dainty, pretty pink perfect for springtime projects perfect for i think like easter right easter's coming up um we're in the middle of well kind of the beginning middle of lent right so um yeah beautiful flirty flamingo ribbon that's what we will draw for on next friday's facebook live okay all right what else what else oh my gosh okay we have to give a another we've had 
so much good stuff happening in the Inkspired Stampers group. This is kind of always how it happens. Like March is like the big, like crazy, everything kind of starts rolling right along. So I have to give a big congratulations to Miss Kim Klein, who is one of our Inkspired Stampers. She just promoted to Bronze Elite yesterday. She emailed me or sent me a message and said, I put my order in, I think I did it. And I checked the reports and sure enough, she, she did. So basically, if you buy the starter kit, you know, you get that awesome deal, right? And it's still, it's still available, so don't forget, you pick $175 in product and pay only $99, plus sales tax, no shipping. Then you start putting your orders in and you automatically get 20% off of all of your orders that you put in. When you keep putting orders in and you get to $1,800 in sales, which is what Kim just did, then you, you promote to Bronze Elite and then you get 25% off of all of your orders or you earn 25% off of anything that you sell to anybody else, right? So it's an awesome, like a 5% pay increase. Who doesn't love a pay increase, right? <laughs> a pay raise. So then she also gets flex points from Stampin' Up that she can use to get more free stuff. And then through me for being an inspired stamper, I know you guys are all awesome. You're like all super excited um, about, about Kim promoting. She's been working really hard at this too. So I love, always love seeing you know people with the plan and the determination and then putting the action behind it because it's work it's not easy you know it's sales like sales is kind of, can be kind of a tough thing right but she did it so then for me for being in my inspired stampers group she gets either a charm necklace or a keychain and then she gets three charms to go in her charm necklace or keychain and she also gets a $50 shopping spree that I personally give her. So she lets me know whatever she wants from the Stampin' Up! either the annual or occasions catalog. And I get that for her as an awesome congratulations for promoting. So yeah, it, it's still, I mean, it's always a great deal, right? The starter kit is. And then, you know, when you build up those orders, you know, who doesn't love getting that 20 and 25% off of orders, right? So yeah, that's very cool. Congratulations, Miss Kim. We're very excited for you. And then we actually had, um, I think it was three people. If you guys remember, I was talking about what I called the celebration sweet spot, where when you put, say, a $250 order in, which I know that sounds like a lot, but if you get a few friends together, it doesn't have to be like so overwhelming. But basically, if you put a $250 order in right now during celebration, so it has to be by March 31st, you get five free level one, so the $50 celebration items, or you can get combinations of the you know, level $200, however you wanna work that out. But I always say five free celebration items and $50 in free stuff. You get $50 in host benefits, benefits with a $250 order. So when you add all that up, $50 in free stuff, and then if you got five free celebration items, I mean, even if you figured those were like 15 to $20 items, that's like another, I don't know, 100 to $150 in free stuff with your $250 order. So yeah. Let's see, <laughs> Karen says, sadly, $250 is not too hard to spend. Plus, the thing is though, too, when you're a demonstrator, you get your 20% off of that. So you put a $250 product order in, and then at the end, they take your 20% off. So you still get all the benefits of the full catalog price of everything that you order, right? So celebration and host rewards. So awesome, 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 sweet spot right now. I'm trying to make sure everybody knows about it because we had three people that just bought the starter kit and then turned around and bought like and kind of enjoyed that sweet spot, if you will. So I want to say congratulations to Susie Meekomer and Sean McPhee and Darlene McPhee. They all recognize what an awesome deal that was. And so the other cool thing is what they did, because I think I think they all actually ordered closer to $300. They all like in that one order met their quarterly minimum for this quarter. And so when you start in the first quarter too, I should mention that. So when you buy the starter kit right now in the first quarter, so we're still in March, right? You actually have the next full calendar quarter to put $300 in orders in. So if you buy the kit in March, you have April, May, and June. So by June 30th, you need to put $300 in orders in. If you don't, you actually go into pending status, you get another month to put $300 in orders in. So by July 31st, if you don't have $300 in orders in, 
your demonstrator ID just isn't active any longer. You can't get on the Stampin' Up! website and like get all the sneak peeks and kind of, you know, be in the know. Um, you can't pre-order, you know, new stuff. So you can't, you lose all your demonstrator perks, but that's it. It's no like horrible, awful thing. People do kind of come and go all the time. So people worry about that. Um, you know, what's my commitment? And that's it, $300 quarterly minimum. But when you start in the middle, of, well, you always start in the middle of the quarter. They don't count this quarter, so they give you all of next quarter too. So June 30th is kind of the date um, to put $300 in orders in. But like I said, why not take advantage of that celebration sweet spot, right? And get your order in before March 31st. You've already met your minimum and then you get all this free stuff too. Because on April 1st, you if you put a $250 order in, you get $25 in host benefits and that's it. So can you imagine no more five free celebration items and then an extra $25 in host benefits if you do it on March 31st versus April 1st. So something to keep in mind, right? Or I'm happy to take your order too. If you wanna put in a big order, you don't wanna get the starter kit, let me know, I can help you out with that also, okay? So I thought that was very cool um, that people are kind of recognizing what a great sweet spot that is um, within celebration only time, right? Um, okay, and then we have a couple of new people, some new friends that bought the starter kit. So I want to say a welcome to Sandy Johnson. It's funny because I was like, not Sandra out in Seattle area. This is Sandy Johnson. She lives right here in Midland, Michigan. She is Sunday's new recruit. And then I want to give a warm welcome to Denise Ledbetter, who is a friend that bought the starter kit through me as well. So they just became Inkspired Stampers in the last couple of days. So congratulations and welcome, ladies. Um, Let's see, Wendy, we can talk about your rolling 12 month totals. Yes, we, we will, t I can um, send you a message about that. And I know Sandra, I thought that was really funny too. I'm like, not Sandra, but Sandy, cause her name really is Sandra. And sometimes it's funny, I think even on Facebook, cause I'm friends with both of you. Sometimes I think I've like kind of tagged the wrong Sandra, Sandy. So <laughs> it, it could, I try to not do that, but it happens sometimes, so yes. Um, okay, so now let's do our other drawing because then I want to show you guys what we have for stamping. Okay, so the other, well, it's not really a drawing, I guess I wouldn't say because I only had one online order last week. So Rosemary Mason automatically wins the Tea Time Framelits, which were my product of the week. I love, love, love these framelits. They're so cute. And I'm gonna show you, here's an example. What I really love is, can you even see if I get super, there we go. So this is actually one of the stitched label framelits that to me looks like a doily. Karen, I think you designed this card. Um, but I love that doily and then the framelits will cut out your teacup. So congratulations to Miss Rosemary Mason. I will be getting these framelits out to you. That is awesome. Um, okay, <clears throat> so. This week, I have another fun something to give away. So this week, if you put in an online order of at least $30, you're gonna get the projects that I demonstrate. You always get those projects. And then your name goes in the drawing to win. Oh, I am having so much fun with this, the All Adorned Stamp Set. Have you guys seen some awesome um, projects made? All of, I love like this mosaic and the stamping and then that corner stamp, beautiful. Yes, on your list, <laughs> of course it is, Sally. Yes, I know, because there are so many cute projects that people are showing on, um, like on Pinterest is where I found a lot of those ideas for the tea time framelits. Okay, so, but back to this, this was actually, I demonstrated a card similar. I think I used um, Bermuda Bay cardstock instead of the Granny Apple Green, but I ran out of that. So for card class, we used Granny Apple Green and the, um, oh, what is this gorgeous, great com color combination. So there's a fun card. If I get super close, you guys can see, right, that green. And what I was saying was, it's really forgiving. Like you think, oh, that's gonna be really hard to line up. But make sure to do like that inside my green, just do a lighter color. So I did the bo more bold, um, gorgeous grape, and then the lighter kind of um, detail in between there, the granny apple green. And if you don't line it up perfectly, it's no big deal. Or if you have your Stamparatus, then you can like line it up perfectly every single time. But so yeah, so whoever puts an online order in this week, your name will go in the drawing to win the All Adorned Stamp Set. 
And yeah, I know, Pinterest is my happy place too, Sally. <laughs> lots and lots of good ideas on there. So, okay. Um, let's see. Oh, I forgot. I kind of like missed the boat. I'm trying to remember when this even happened. But do you guys all know this, that um, Stampin' Up! added, I don't know how many more, seven or eight more items that you can get for free during celebration. So these are items that are actually found in our annual catalog. And I thought, let me just make sure everybody knows about these. Because maybe you think, oh, I've gotten everything that I wanted free during celebration. But you know, honestly, even like stocking up on white cardstock and snail adhesive and envelopes, glue dots, dimensionals, some of that basic stuff, why not do it now and get your free celebration items? So again, if you thought you had everything that you wanted free during celebration, maybe there are a couple of things, I'm gonna show you them right now so that you know what they are, right? Okay, so let me just kind of get everything scooted around here. So <laughs> this is gorgeous paper. This is the, let me make sure I give it the right name, delightfully detailed laser cut specialty paper. So it's very, very dainty though. And they actually put kind of, um, I don't know, tissue paper in between each of them. So I'm not gonna pull it out because I was actually really afraid that I was gonna ruin it, even just pulling it out to like show you. Because when you order this, it actually has a cardboard piece on the front and the back. And then all this paper is very carefully tucked inside. And I pulled it out and then I tried to like put it back in between. And I was having a hard time because I didn't want to ruin anything. So I'm going to just show you, but this is one example. And you can cut this and layer it. And Karen, I can't remember if you shared on our Inkspired Fa Stampers Facebook group or on here, but Karen made a beautiful, um, was it a, it was maybe a, a wedding? Wendy, wedding shower invitation card, super, super simple. She actually used some of the happiness um, blooms, the memories and more cards and envelopes. So like the really nice deep navy color. And then she cut some of this paper and layered it right on top. And then just did um, like a quick your invited stamp and punched it with one of our new punches. Yes, it was on there. Sharon, or Karen, if you think of it, share it over here, or maybe I can do that. Um, but if, if you feel like it, put it on our Facebook group so people can see. Because she was saying um, she was sick and not feeling well, and but needed to get this done and how quick and easy it was because the card base was already made. She just cut this awesome detailed laser cut um, specialty, delightfully detailed, I guess it is, um, paper, popped it on there, put a little um, sentiment on there, and it was beautiful. So my point is sometimes I think we think we have to like wow people and kind of go way over the the top but this paper alone is way over the top so you don't even need to do much else with it so beautiful you can get this for free with a $50 order and there are other patterns in there too you can check out the um, the catalog or the website so you can see the other patterns because this is my favorite I love all these flowers on here so that's one of them and then oh let's see the uh, mini pizza boxes you can get a full pack of those super cute I don't even have it of course I have one back in my craft room put together but these are really really cute and you can decorate and they actually are perfect to put like little three by three cards in and envelopes you can make like a little gift box tie up a pretty bow or decorate it stamp on it whatever you want to do so those mini pizza boxes are super cute or put a cookie in it and give it to somebody that <laughs> that'd probably be my favorite thing to get out of one of those um oh gotta run to school okay yes to probably have kids to pick up maybe um, I think I said that my kids are on a half day. So thank goodness my son drives. So I don't have to worry about any of that anymore. Um, okay, so what else? Ooh, you actually get two packs. So the pearlized doilies. Can you see I have like a partial pack here, but you'd get two full packs of those doilies. Super beautiful, shiny, shimmery on one side or kind of a more of a regular white matte look on the other side. Um, what else? Free. These are all free with a $50 order. The, oh, the Rich Razzleberry, this velvet ribbon you can get for free as well. You can see that's just a beautiful, that velvet is so pretty. So Rich Razzleberry, I just have a little bit left. You get a full bolt, right? Free with your $50 order. They also are giving away the, this is called the Share What You Love Embellishment Kit. I don't know if you guys remember this, but that had our statement of the heart printed right on it. It's such a pretty box too. Like I love 
the box alone. It kind of coordinates with all of that share what you love suite. And I only have a little bit left of stuff in here because I used a lot of it, but it comes with, I loved those little, um, they're like roses, beautiful roses. You get a couple bolts of, oops, twine, you guys are down there, right? You get some of these um, little paper clips in there too, a couple of different colors of paper clips. Um, there's more, I honestly can't even remember what else. I'm trying to get these out without here. I'm just gonna dump everything out because I think these are really pretty too. Kind of a, a etched, detailed, like laser cut label. So you've got some smaller ones and you've got some bigger ones. It's almost, to me, looks like they burned inside there. Like it looks a little bit wood grain almost inside. So really, really pretty. Plus I think like the box is super cute all on its own. And there was more, honestly, I know there's more that came in it, but I used a lot of it. So that's what I have left to show you guys, but you can get that free with a $50 order. Um, the scattered sequins embossing folder. Can you see, I always have to put my sticky on here. Only use one. I think this was one of the original dynamic, the thick embossing folders. So I always have to put a note on it. There we go. Maybe you can see a little bit better there. Mine's pretty well loved, but you can get that for free with a $50 order. And then the last thing is my favorite. You can get a full pack of, this is the, called the Petal Promenade Designer Series Paper. And I'm gonna try to, let's see, if we pull this out a little bit. So check this out online too if you haven't seen it. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful paper. I love all the flowers. This is great for like spring, spring timey projects. Okay, so I just have it kind of pulled out. Should I have that done earlier, but I didn't. Okay, so this is the Petal Promenade Designer Series paper, all those beautiful floral. And then it's more um, neutral here. Let's just pull it out so you guys can see what's going on, right? It's more neutral, kind of marbly looking actually on the back. And I have used one whole, can you guys see? Isn't that awesome? That looks like somebody's countertop, doesn't it? So there's that side. And then again, I love all these flowers. And that's probably a little bit overwhelming looking at them like that. But here, you guys have to see, because these are beautiful, right? Love, there's that pattern with that on the back, right? Um, there's this one that's fun that you can do all these little frames with, right? And then more interesting marbly, um, I think granite, maybe it looks like granite, your granite countertops, right? Um, some more, oh, I love, and then this one is mm, a little more maybe kind of wood grain, but very kind of neutral. Haha, <laughs> Wendy, you got a couple packs of that, huh? How about these beautiful roses too, right? Are these roses? You guys tell me. I don't know. They're beautiful flowers, right? And then there's some more marbliness on the back side. And then this is beautiful too. Check that out, right? And then the back side. That's that's definitely countertop look right there, right? Okay, so yeah, you can get that full pack of designer series paper free with a $50 order. So you can see all of those if you go to stampinup.com, click on celebration, click on level one, free with a $50 order. These are in there and then everything else you can still get that's available too. So I just, I was like, I kind of blew it last week and I should have told you guys about it then. So I'm telling you now, okay? All right, are you guys ready? We are finally gonna do some stamping. Let me make sure, let me make sure that I think, yep, right, we did double checking. Okay, yep, I think we're good. Okay, so yeah, we are gonna do our stamping now. So let me, let's get, what do I need? My grid paper. I'm gonna give you guys the host code too. So, okay, turn your heads away for a quick sec. We're gonna flip you down and we're gonna do our stamping, yay! <laughs> I know, it's the best part, right? It's my favorite time too. Okay, there we go. I feel like that's a little bit funny, but okay, we'll go with it. All right, so just to do a quick reminder, if you put at least a $30 online order in by next Wednesday, you're gonna get the projects that we're gonna demonstrate in just a sec, and your name is entered into the drawing, where did it go? To get the All Adorned stamp set, okay? Make sure you use the host code, the BM9KZG2E, and if you bump your order up to $50 online, you always get a free embellishment. And right now it's celebration, so you get a celebration choice too. 
So great time to order. Okay, so I have to show you guys the first card. Let me get my sleeves rolled up here so we can get right into this. So this card we actually made, my Simple Beautiful card class was this week, and I had to feature one more time because I absolutely love the Country Floral Embossing Folder. And then I thought, oh, we gotta pull in, this is some of the Petal Promenade Designer Series paper that you can get for free. So if you spend $100, you can get that pack of paper and you can get that embossing folder. They're both the level one items. You can get them free with a $50 order. Plus you're probably gonna need to order that Story Label Punch that we're using right there. That is one of those coordination products that you can order Right, so you could order the punch, you could order your thick, very vanilla cardstock, you could order your vanilla lace trim. I'm gonna show you this is from, I'm drawing a blank, let me remember what framelit set. It's actually from a set from the holiday catalog that carried over. It's part of the Frosted Bouquet framelits. That little, you can't even see it in there, but you know what, let's just pull that out right now too. So you could order these and then get your freebies. So lots of good choices. And you guys just know that I am gonna upload all the, well, I'm gonna do, I have it pretty well ready actually. The blog post with all the item codes and everything that we used, including um, dimensions for everything. I will have that on gatheringinspiration.com shortly after the video today, okay? So you don't have to scramble and wonder about anything. Um, all right, so, oh, and I have to show you too. So originally when I designed this card, I had picked this ribbon out. This is some of that Tea Room ribbon combo pack. Part of, this is kind of that petal, petal pink, and it's got a little bit of kind of shimmer, I don't know, gold or copper in it. So I loved both of them, but I don't know why I kind of ended up being a little bit more drawn to the vanilla. It kind of blended in a little bit more, super dainty, pretty, but I, I did like this one as well. So I had to show you guys both of those so you could see kind of how the ribbon really changes things, right? Okay, so let me get that one out of the way. I have all my pieces, I think. So let's do, we can do our die cutting. Might as well do that, okay? And then I'll tell you what else you need to know. So let's see, we need this. So the rectangle stitched framelits, we're actually using, this is the one, two, one, two, three, four, the fifth largest, I guess, or the fourth smallest, whatever way you wanna put that, right? One, two, three, four, five it is. So we're gonna use this framelit and we're gonna cut out our designer series paper with that. And let's see, what else do I need? I still have this leftovers from class too, so it's throwing me a tiny bit. Let's see, we're gonna need those two, and then our punch we're gonna need. Okay, so let me grab my big shot. And we'll do our die cutting. Okay. All right, how are, we got, how are we doing here, guys? Yes, it could be a beautiful wedding card. You're right. Thank you, ladies. I love that ribbon. Well, it's the ribbon. It's the designer series paper. It's all of it. And you know what I realized? Let's see. I think we don't even need a full bit of this. I kind of forgot, and I did this at class too, to cut pieces for this, but I think I'm just going to give myself enough. Although now i got to move that. Okay, you come back there. I need to have enough room to do my stamping and my punch. If not, I can always run and get more vanilla. Okay, so we're going to put that on there and that there. So let's do our die cutting here. I'm trying to think if there's anything else to tell you guys about. Those um, rectangle framelits, I think it's because they're so big and wide, they really like shake the world <laughs> when you run this thing. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so that piece right there we will use. We do not need that one. Let's get that guy out of the way. Okay, and then this one will have, yep, it did cut all the way through. So this one always sticks in here, but when I use my Big Shot die brush, it makes it super simple to pop things right out. So let me grab that. I did remember to bring it, so that is always very handy. So if we just kind of roll that around a little bit. Well, usually, of course now, because I'm <laughs> a 
Maybe I should have, I probably should have gone back and forth. And because I didn't bring my paper piercing tool, right? But okay, there we go. So I just love, I think I want to put that little spriggy thing on like every, <laughs> I don't know why, I just love that. I did use it a lot this winter too. But so just so you guys know, those are still available. The frosted bouquet framelits. And they're item number 147895. But like I said, I'll have all the item codes on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com so you can order any of those things that you still would like and get your free celebration choice. Okay, now we are gonna stamp. I use, I haven't really used this much yet and I'm really dying to, the Vibrant Vases stamp set and we use this Thanks for Understanding. So the other sentiments on here are, can you guys see? Celebrate every tiny victory just for you you are loved always. And then a bunch of kind of two-step, I guess, two-step stamping, you know, where all these things kind of layer together. So if you want to color them in, you could, or you can kind of just frost them in with your stamp. I love, I love that. Quick and simple, right? Oops, we don't need to do that. I should already have my stamp here. Yes, I do. Okay. So, and I just want to make sure, because <laughs> I had this whole big piece so if I do it just right, I'm gonna be okay. <laughs> okay, let's hope that we can do it right. So I'm using old olive ink. Here I am like laughing at myself. This is the moment like just before I'm ready to like crash, take a nap. <laughs> all right, I'm powering through ladies, just for you all. Okay, so we've got our thanks for understanding. We are going to carefully Punch that, mm, that does not look straight, does it? Okay, you guys can't even probably see it from back there. But that's all right. Okay, so we punched that guy out. Oh, you know what, I forgot to do my embossing. Okay, well, let me grab the big shot. I've got all my little parts and pieces up there that I'm not gonna lose. I will tell you guys, let me tell you about dimensions real quick. Well, I'm thinking about that, because all you really need to know, we've got thick whisper white cardstock that measures our, well, eight and a half by 11, Cut it in half at five and a half inches and then score it along the eight and a half side at four and a quarter inches to make our nice crisp fold on our card, right? Then my very vanilla piece is almost as big as my card. It measures four and one eighth by five and three eighths. So it's just an eighth of an inch smaller than the card base itself. Oh good, I did bring the other platform. I had a moment of, shoot, did I remember that? But I did, ladies, if I could pat myself on the back and get my arm all the way around there, I might. <laughs> and I do have the embossing folder. Okay, good, yeah. So I this it's funny because this country floral embossing folder, I think was like the hit. I've been doing that product of the week for a while now, and this was the thing that everyone fell in love with. So if you don't have it yet, you really need to get it. You can get it free with your $50 order. And I'm like kind of going crazy with that because we only have, what? Is today the, oh, what is today? I don't know. We have like two weeks left of celebration, right? Yeah, so don't snooze, don't miss out. And some things you guys know have sold out, right? Those hop around framelits have sold out. The um, cupcake framelits have sold out now too. Those are, well, those are coordination products. Um, but yeah, and then some of the other celebration things have sold out too. You guys know about those, right? So the foil sheets have sold out, the wooden butterfly elements. Um, what about the precious parcel card kit, the ribbon? That's why I think they brought a bunch of these new things out. Oh, you know what I wanted to do? Because I have... so. Okay, silly me, I didn't realize this ribbon, this lace trim, vanilla lace trim, it's only five yards on the bolt. So I was like, oh yeah, just wrap it all the way around the card, tie a big pretty bow. And we didn't get to make very many cards with it because it was only five yards, usually it's 10 yard bolt. So I have a couple of these strips left <laughs> in my stash. So what we are gonna do is, I'm gonna do kind of a, well, cheater strip here. Which one's longer? Which one do I want to use for my bow? I think I could use that for my bow, actually. Okay, sorry, I have these two little, well, not, they're not so little, little strips. Okay, so we're going to put this one, we're going to just tack it around 
the back. I put, oh, okay, sorry. Cause this is not how I did the original one. Like I said, I tied it all the way around. So my steps are a little bit different, but I wanna put this on cause then I'm gonna put my ribbon over top and I'll, I'll smush that down in a sec. But I want to run this along, that looks good there. Okay, so I was trying not to put this down on the table because I already have adhesive on it and I don't really want it to stick to everything. Right, okay, so we're just tacking those down. So I'm just, I'm kind of saving a few inches of ribbon there by not running it all along the back of that piece. Okay, so either way is good, I think. You won't know other than on the inside of the card, and I don't know that anybody really cares whether there's ribbon on the inside of their card or not, but I do want to press really firmly to get everything down there. Then we are going to put some dimensionals that I have right here on the back. And I actually put a bunch, whenever you're kind of run, running this right over ribbon, a lot of times I would only put two dimensionals there, but sometimes it gets a little wobbly when it's like sitting on the ribbon. So I'll put an extra two dimensionals kind of on the top and the bottom to make sure. Okay, let's see. I'm missing some comments, I apologize. I'll come back and peek at those. Um, afterwards I get concentrating you know you know how you have to do that you have to concentrate on what you're doing and then actually we're gonna put a little bit of adhesive I'm gonna just run some adhesive on that I'm using this as my little silicone craft sheet because I'm always forgetting that and we just kind of want to tuck and sometimes now I put so many dimensionals I can't tuck it in there very well <laughs> okay we're gonna just kind of tuck that little sprig right in there. I just love kind of those vanilla elements, real soft kind of peeking out over top of our embossing. Because I didn't really want to cover up the embossing too much. Okay, so now I'm just trying to slip this piece. Is this the one I wanted to use? Hmm. Yeah, okay. So I'm just gonna tie a bow right here. And actually, I believe this is one, okay, we'll see how this turned out. It took me a couple of times. I tend to turn my card either kind of sideways or upside down in order to get the bow going the way I want it to. So we'll see how this one turns out. Oops, I lost my little loop. This is gonna be funny, funny. Okay, let's fix that up. I think it's gonna be all right though. Okay. So you can see, I tend to kind of just push and pull with um, that ribbon just to get it where I want it. There we go. Yeah, you, you know, I could futz with this for a while, but we're gonna call that good for now, right? And then the last thing that we need, where are, yes, they're a little bit hiding. I used some of the, what are these? The metallic pearls, these are called. And I tell you what, every time I pull this thing off, um, a little bit more twists out of there. I need a lesson on how to like open this thing up. And then I'm just gonna pick these up with my little take your pick tool. Oops. And pop them on there. I'm gonna not press super hard so that if I want to move them, cause I think I do a little bit, right? Those are in a little bit funny places I'd say. There, we'll do that one there. There we go, okay. Let me get those, shoot, I gotta get those out of the way. Those are the little thingies that I could just lose, right? All right, so there is your first card featuring that country floral embossing folder, the Petal Promenade Designer Series paper. I love that new story label punch, along with the Vibrant Bases stamp set. What a great sentiment, that thanks for understanding. And then I love this ribbon and the little sprig there too. So. Check out gatheringinspiration.com for all the item codes there that you will need to get your order placed. And, okay, let me scoot this stuff out of the way. And I'm gonna show you guys the next card. So don't forget, if you put an online order in of at least $30, you're gonna get this card, plus the other one that I'm gonna demonstrate right now. Okay, let's see. Where is that embossing folder? Right here. 
All right, I just have to scoot this stuff out of the way just a little bit. And I'm going to show you guys the next card. Actually, you know what I need to do? Let me get my chamois. Yeah, are you guys using your chamois? I love mine, right? I'm just going to clean that a little bit. Even though it looks not clean, it's amazing how it cleans. Yeah, I know. Try twisting it backwards. I have tried that, Sally. I don't know. Maybe I haven't tried very hard or something. I'll have to try it again because it wasn't working for me. But it's probably the user <laughs> more than it is the tool itself is what I'm thinking. Okay, let's get these guys out of the way. All right, here is the next card. Hold on, hold on. I'm like teasing you guys, I know. Okay, so you know how I was telling you I'm having so much fun. Oh, thank you, Karen. I'm glad. I would love for you to case that card. Case this one too. It's another really simple but super fun and floral, colorful. So this is more of that happiness blooms sweet, right? So here's the designer series paper. I have to show you guys that paper too. It's, I may have shown it to you a while ago, but I love all of these bold, bright, I think we did because I think we talked about it kind of being like retro 60s paper, right? I even love that stripe too. Um, okay, let me know how that goes, Sally. You're gonna try it. I love the navy. Oh, I'm a huge, like, maybe because it's a Michigan color, right? The navy blue. And then here's my maize, my daffodil delight. Love those pretty flowers. And then here, this is the piece that we used on our card. This is, I love this one too. I know I used this on a card a while ago on Facebook Live. And then that was the backside too with that. And then beautiful. You could just have so much fun just with this paper alone. We used this one on the froggy card, I remember, at class. And then I know I did this one. I used this one, too. And then some pretty leaves. So just really bright, bold, beautiful paper in the Happiness Blooms card pack. We are also using, this is the Bloom by Bloom stamp set that, of course, coordinates with the Happiness Blooms designer series paper. You can see a lot of the images that are on the paper are right here on your stamp set as well. And then the sentiment, this, a friend is someone who chooses you out of a whole world of people. Oops, sorry. I'm looking at it, not paying attention to where it is in the view. Those sentiments are from the awesome Beauty Abounds stamp set. This was the one, they've got that sentiment that says, our friendship isn't one big thing, it's a million little things. There's a thanks, a for you, and a hello. And then there's that, a friend is someone who chooses you out of a whole world of people. Plus, if you guys remember, I loved those the little kind of dots there, like little watermarks, water splotches. And then this is very pretty, too, with the butterflies also. So two great stamp sets that we're using. And then my new favorite embossing folder, I think I just used it last week, too, but I can't get enough of it now, the dot-to-dot -dot embossing folder we used on that Calypso Coral piece right there. So, okay, let's go ahead and get started. Let me get all my things out here. Oops, I'm like throwing stuff. Those little enamel dots were kind of being funny for me. Okay, so we need our sentiments. We have that and that and that. Okay. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna tell you about dimensions because I'm really afraid I'm gonna forget. So we are starting with a piece of Call Me Clover cardstock. Okay, this is our eight and a half by 11 cardstock. Again, we cut it in half along the 11 inch side at five and a half, scored it in half along the four and a quarter inch side there as well to make our fold, okay? Then we have, this is a little piece, this is for the sentiment. This is one inch by two and a half inches. That is like just a little bit out of view, isn't it? I hadn't really noticed that. Okay, sorry about that from earlier. Then I just have some strips of, we're going to do our die cutting and stamping on these. On the inside, we have a piece of Whisper White cardstock that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. Then we have our Calypso Coral piece that we're going to emboss that measures two and a half by four and a quarter. And our designer series paper that is strategically cut to three inches by four inches so that we can get 12 pieces of this size of paper out of one sheet of our designer series paper. Okay, so let's do our stamping. 
we're gonna take this and this and we do need to stamp on the inside. Okay, so with our Calypso Coral ink, we're gonna start with that one. We are going to actually grab our Stampin' Pierce mat and here we go. Do our nice, easy tap, tap, tap. We are going to ink that up a little bit more because it didn't look like it had quite enough ink in it. And I'm gonna press there and then we need, let's see, you know what? I'm gonna keep the ink out. I'm gonna stamp this one as well. So in the corner, of the inside, I need these little babies, the smaller version of this stamp. Do I have a scrap piece of paper? I'm trying to see if I do. I do, I've got my like scribble notes here. There, we're gonna put that down there. Because I don't really like to stamp on my pad if I don't have to. Okay, now we need our Call Me Clover ink for our leaves. And so again, tap, tap, tap. Do that guy there, scoot him out of the way. And my white piece, we are gonna do our big leaves for the inside. This is just such a bold, beautiful love, that stamp, right? Then the last step is to use Night of Navy ink and kind of put the little polka dots on things so let's see where did i hear my little polka dots right okay so you're just going to kind of add these along the top there like that and then we're actually going to stamp our sentiments as well okay so on our little strip right here we're going to stamp our a friend is someone who chooses you okay that one looks good there and then on the inside, we've got out of a whole world of people. And there we go. I love the cursive. That is some beautiful cursive handwriting on that card, I think. Or on that, I guess, on that stamp, really. Okay, so now let's do our die cutting. Okay, sorry, I feel like I have a million things out and I keep like moving stuff. I'm just gonna cut this so we don't have that huge strip of paper. Okay, so we need to do our embossing and then our die cutting with our circles here. Okay, so we're having a big shot. We'll do our die cutting first since that's the platform that I have on here. <laughs> yes, the tap, 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 Sally, that's right. That is so right. Okay, so I need to make sure that we have these things lined up well, okay, circle framelits. We are using, I feel like I have some of these pulled out. Pretty sure I do. I think this is the second largest scallop edge. And then straight edge, I'm pretty sure this is the third largest because I know I have them pulled out for another project. Third largest straight edge. Okay. And I might have stamped that a little. We'll have to just go with it. Might have put it a little bit too high up there. So that's all right though. Okay, so we're cranking the handle. We've got the magnetic platform and our two clear pads. Let's see what we've got. Okay, so that thing pops out perfectly. That's funny, the friend of mine that's coming to meet me from Chicago <laughs> just texted me saying, just leaving now, typical lateness. I'm like, oh, we were roommates for a long time, so I think that's probably why we got along so well. <laughs> we were always like, you know, close to leaving on time. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. This is a friend of mine that I have known since college. We used to work at an ice cream store together, and so we're gonna get together and craft this weekend, and I'm really, really excited to see her. Okay. So we have our, this is the dot to dot embossing folder. I wanted it to kind of go up and down like that. So I'm putting that in there. I do, this is a thinner embossing folder. So you want your regular Big Shot platform and then both of the clear pads, one on top and one underneath your embossing folder. And voila, because it gets covered up. You can't even see, I don't know. It's almost, I don't know, reptilian or something, but it's really cool. I'm really enjoying that embossing water. Okay, there. Ooh, those aren't gonna stay in there, are they? I'm not the right platform to keep that in there tight. Okay, I 
think we are ready to put things together now. I'm getting all excited now that she sent me that text. Woohoo! You know, like when you can have a good, fun girls weekend. Don't we all just need those sometimes? Okay, where's my adhesive? You guys see it. Oh no, you don't, because it's way, it's buried under the designer series paper way over there. Okay, so we're gonna just put some adhesive on our big circle. I have to show you guys, isn't this so cute? I love, there's something, it's just the bright, bold colors. Make me happy. All right, we're gonna put some dimensionals on the back of that and on the back of our sentiment. So let's get those done. Okay, now we're gonna add some adhesive and this is the one where I say I like to put lots of adhesive on that Calypso Coral piece because it's embossed and all those bumps kind of prevent it a little bit from staying on quite so well. There's something about this color combination too that I find really, maybe it's kind of summery too. And boy, are we ready for summer around here, right, in Michigan? Which way is upside? There's no like right way or wrong way, is there? I kind of keep looking at that like, mm, it doesn't really matter though. They're upside down either way, which is fine. Okay, so we're gonna add this piece right about there. Then we are gonna peel off our little dimensional backs. Pop him maybe right about there and peel those guys off. A friend is someone who chooses you, dot, 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 out of a whole world of people. <laughs> well, hi, Darlene. Yes, you're late. I know, story of my life too. But that's the beauty of this being recorded, right? Then we can watch or rewind if we need to get measurements. Although measurements are gonna be on my blog too, gatheringinspiration.com. So that goes on the inside. Then the last step, of course, we have to have a little bit of bling, the happiness blooms enamel dots. So I just kind of popped a couple of these. Sorry, I can't find, my take your pick tool is like buried somewhere. So I'm just using my fingernails now. We're gonna put one of each of these gonna put one there we're gonna put one there and then we're gonna do so I did kind of small medium and large and I just like to kind of sprinkle those on my page kind of like all the other things are sprinkled around there too and that is it yes you love the colors thank you Philomena I know well and you know it's so easy I mean it's all about that designer series paper because the colors are right on there right we've got our Calypso coral our call me clover and then those little dots are in night of navy so so easy to make beautiful coordinating projects. They give you step-by-step -step on how to do it, right? So, okay, you guys, thank you so much for hanging in there with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed Facebook Live today. I will tell you, I was like, am I gonna mention it or not? But I am going to. So I'm gonna kind of put a little plea out there. I am, so celebration is usually like a really good sales time. And I'm a little bit low on my numbers for sales for this celebration. So if you enjoyed either of these projects, if you enjoy watching Facebook Lives, I would love to earn your business and have you put an order in, maybe get some of the products that we used on these cards. Um, like I said, I'm trying to meet that sales goal, so any little bit will help. I truly, truly appreciate it. With your $30 online order, you're gonna get both of these projects sent to you. And then your name is gonna go in the drawing to win the All Adorned stamp set, right? And then you know this, make sure you use the host code. It's always at gatheringinspiration.com. Bump your order up to $50, you always get a free embellishment. So you could end up with two cards, this stamp set, a free embellishment, and a free celebration choice too. So lots of great reasons to shop online as well. So thank you guys. I hope you all have a great weekend. I am ready to pack it up and head on down to Lansing and enjoy the weekend with my friend Stacy and everybody else that's going to be at the retreat. So you guys have a great weekend. Thank you so much for staying with me today and we'll see you next Friday. Bye everybody. Have a good weekend. And you know what, Karen? I look forward to it every week too. Thank you. That's very sweet of you to say. Bye.